Hey, what's up guys? Tony here, and this is a game of Domination on Stadium. And this is from the Double XP Weekend, that was weeks ago. Uh, but it's just something I've had saved up on my, my hard drive, my external hard drive for some time now. And um, with the MLB videos that I were putting out, and I just took that break from Black Ops uh, personally. So it's been a while since I've, I've recorded and done a gameplay commentary, it feels like. But I've got a couple of things I actually want to talk about today. And um, this is sort of on a silly note. First thing is, I want to know if there's anybody out there who is like a graphic designer or is good with graphic designing because I want to design a logo and um, not like a Why Not the Tiger logo. But uh, for those of you who play with me, you already know what this is all about. But there's this, um, I don't know, it's sort of like a, becoming a catchphrase. Um, but it, it, sort of, it was sort of spun last night, but it's been sort of an ongoing thing. But basically, it's uh, something that Tan and I were talking about. It's Pop-Tart time. And so I want to put together like a logo just for myself and maybe I'll like make it into a shirt or something. If we do actually do this meetup in the summer of, of next summer, you know, it would be awesome to have a t-shirt that says it's pop tart time. Uh, because anyways, the backstory is, is that those people who, who play with me regularly, they'll know that um, I can be quite the connoisseur of pop tarts while playing video games. It's not like I'm sitting around eating them all evening long, but... When things aren't going well, I'll go grab a pop tart. And when things are going great, maybe I'll go grab a pop tart. It's only once a night, if that. But it's kind of funny because it's sort of, uh, just sort of. I guess I don't want to say it's my thing, but uh, I just thought of it last night when we were talking about it. And um, look, look who's home again, that guy. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I just thought it'd be kind of cool, and and I could probably work something out in Photoshop, but I'm not the best with graphic design. And so if you guys come up with something, you know, drop it into like a Dropbox or something and send me the link. And uh, I'll see if I can like turn it into a t-shirt or something. I don't know. And if you guys, uh, if I do make one, you know, I'll make one for whoever designs one. It'd be kind of cool. But uh, anyways, that, that's sort of like, oh, by the way, that's not like, like it's not that I want to make these and like start selling t-shirts or anything. That's definitely not the case. Um, it's something I thought about last night uh, after I, you know, ate a Pop-Tart and I was like, hey, that'd be kind of like a cool catchphrase and that might make a cool t-shirt, you know, for myself. So I'm not like trying to sell these, so don't, you know, please don't, don't get all worried or anything. I'm, I'm not selling it out or whatever, but anyways, I, anyway, it's just sort of a personal thing. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to stop beating that dead horse because I have something very, very, very important to talk about. And I want to ask you guys right now, right off the bat, well, I'm going to tell you actually right now, right off the bat, it's kind of personal and I'm asking for your input because I want to know what you guys think and, and what your opinion is on this matter. I want to know, and I'm going to give you mine, I want to know what are your top 10 sexiest cartoon characters of all time. See, that is very, very personal. And, uh... And actually, I don't know where I, I oh, you know, no, I know exactly where I came up with this. I was uh, watching Netflix, you know, as the X-Men cartoon was on, and I was like, man, Rogue, she's like always been one of those really sexy characters. And I could never explain what it was. And then I got thinking, I'm like, and then I started seeing messages out. So those of you guys who got messages from me, I was like, what are your top 10 sexiest uh, cartoon characters? Go. That's why. Um, but here's my top 10. And it'd be awesome if you guys could, like, you know, post up your top 10. You know, if you're a girl, put up your guy, sexy guy list or whatever. If you're a guy, you know, put up the girls. If you're alternative lifestyle, then you can put up whatever the heck you want to. But anyways, just one of the top ten sexiest cartoon characters, in your opinion. And uh, here, here, we'll start with mine. Number ten, Mary Jane from the Spider-Man cartoon. And that kind of, for me, that kind of goes without saying just because of the fact that I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. And um, in the animated series in the 90s, they really made Mary Jane quite plain you know um she looks like she came right out of the 70s yeah you know? but i don't know she's still it's mary jane like how could you not like mary jane um i saw a more contemporary mary jane and she looks freaking hot the only thing though is she's like in the series she's like 16 and then it just makes me feel like a dirty old man so i'm going with things and nostalgic for me and it's ba basically because when i found them attractive i was like you know a kid so so we got Mary Jane, number 10. Number 9, Jubilee from the X-Men, the animated series. And uh, I don't know what it is about Jubilee. She's like got that spunky, I don't know, Asian attitude thing going on with fireworks. Maybe it's the jacket or the gloves or the sunglasses. I don't, I don't know. I can't quite define it myself. But 
she's on my list. Uh, number eight, Catwoman from Batman the Animated Series. The first Catwoman. The one with like the gray costume, the picture you're looking at right now. It's that. And the actress who plays Selena Kyle, oh my gosh, she does such a great job. And um, yeah, you like, you know, Klaus coming out. Anyway, she's just like dead sexy, you know. Um, number seven, Zatanna from Batman the Animated Series. I don't, I don't think I have to say more than look at what she's wearing. You know, she's got dark hair. I think she's like got blue eyes or something like that. Uh, she's a magician. You know, that's pretty hot. That's pretty cool. Uh, number six is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And I'm not one for like redheads or anything, but there's something about Ariel that's just, you know, she's, she's really hot. She can sing and stuff, and maybe it's because she's like so naive. I don't know. You just kind of feel like you could, well, most Disney characters are pretty super naive, but you just feel like I can change her in a bad way. <laughs> um, oh, and those for you guys who listen to Painkiller already, uh, it's not <laughs> it's not the mermaid. Ariel, it would be like the human Ariel, because I know they got this whole like, would you have sex with the fish head or fish body? You know, if you could have a choice, I would prefer the Ariel that's a human. That when Ursula changed her into a human, I would prefer that to be honest. And I don't, you know, ugh, God, I couldn't even think of, like the mermaid part, because like I don't like fish head. It probably stinks and just it, like smells like the sea. It, it would just be awful everywhere. It would be awful. But the human one, you know, if she was a mute too, I wouldn't care. <laughs> um. Number five is Rogue from the X-Men cartoon. And like I mentioned before, she's just like stunning. You know, she's got like the Brittany Murphy voice. It's freaking awesome. She, did I just blow up that missile? I'll have to go back and look. Um, yeah, Brittany Murphy does a great, good job. There's something about like the squeaky voice, you know. And I saw something. Oh, get shit on after you shot me down. Boom. Um, there's a, uh, oh, I saw this thing one time where it was talking about how there are certain comic characters that can be sexy without having to reveal a lot of skin like Psylocke for instance she has so much skin showing and um, but Rogue on the other hand she's covered head to toe because she can't touch people but she's still sexy you know there's something about it I just you know anyways yeah she's number five number four Jessica Rabbit and I Jessica Rabbit is gonna probably make everybody's list because she's just like whoa you know she's got this whole like 1920s 1930s um, like cocktail girl thing going on she's got gigantic boobs you know it's Jessica Rabbit like, I, I can't really you know explain it much more than that that's she's just freaking awesome how she ended up with Roger Rabbit is beyond me but I mean I guess it's love I don't know I don't see it but uh, yeah Jessica Rabbit number four number three Batgirl and I think you're noticing a trend here. I guess I got a thing for superhero chicks or something. <laughs> but um, the picture I posted up first is Batgirl from the first part <clears throat> of the animated series. Um, she was like a, more of a spunky, inexperienced, not the crime fighter type. You know, she would, um, she just was everything that Batman wasn't, you know. Um, and I really liked her. And, the, and the, the actor, the actress who played her, you know, did the voice of Batgirl was actually pretty hot too. Um, and, oh, and then the second one, which I'll show you right now, this one actually, I like this one too. Uh, it's just like, because she got more, she became more of like an actual superhero and stuff. And the only thing I don't like is she got these really like light colored, really gross, not I won't say gross, but these really weird, like really light blue eyes, you know, it just doesn't seem to fit. Her, like, dark complexion, like, the whole darkness of her costume and stuff. Um, number two is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I have got a thing for brown hair, brown eye girls. And when I saw Beauty and the Beast, I was like, damn. And still, like, to this day, I'm just like, damn. And then here's a picture of what Belle should look like if it was, like, a little bit more contemporary. That's actually, that's really hot <laughs> for a cartoon character. Um, number one, all-time hottest cartoon chick in my world, here it is, Daphne from Scooby-Doo. I mean, holy crap, you can't get hotter than Daphne. She's just like, she's like the epitome of hot. She comes from the 60s or the 70s. You know, she's got that 60s and 70s things going on there. It's just freaking hot. The whole wardrobe, the costume, everything's hot. So, anyways, guys, that's this video. Let me know what your top 10 sexiest cartoon characters are, okay? So, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.